from New Orleans, Louisiana, it's the Cube covering .next Conference 2018. Brought to you by Nutanix. Welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman here at the Cube in New Orleans, the Nutanix.next conference. Joining me is Keith Townsend, We're going wall to wall with interviews for two days, and uh, kind of dig into some uh, some really geeky techy stuff, micro segmentation. Like, happy to welcome to the program two first time guests, Harjot Gill, uh, who is the senior director of product and engineering at Nutanix, and Rajiv Marani, who's the CTO of Cloud Platform. Uh, thank you both for joining us. Thanks for Hi, having us. Thanks. All right, so Rajiv, you've been with Nutanix for, for a bit, so we're, we're going to get hard job first. So, <laughs> yeah. so uh, we've been, four acquisitions that Nutanix has made in yep. the software space uh, in, in the last year or so. One of them was Netzel. Yes. Uh, so bring us back, you, you, you were and are the CEO of, of the yep. Netzel Group. Um, tell us kind of the why of the company, yep. uh, size of the team, things like that, and then we'll That's get into That's good, it. yeah. So previously, yes, I was co-founder and CEO of Netzel, uh, which I don't know whether you noticed, listen spelled backwards. And essentially it was like microservices analytics platform um, and the core technology of Netsil was designed at University of Pennsylvania in a research group. That's where most of my team came from. It's a really small team. We're like just 10 odd engineers who took on this like very interesting challenge in the industry as microservices were taking off, applications were like ported to modern uh, platforms like Kubernetes. We saw an opportunity to take like a network centric approach in doing performance uh, analysis and reliability analysis. And the product that we built is very interesting. It's can, it can be thought of as like Google Maps for your cloud applications. Just like Splunk in the past was Google search for data center. So we came up with this concept where you can like visualize uh, different uh, abstractions and different virtualization layers of your application delivery. And that was a product. All right, Rajiv, we've been talking about uh, the really expansion of services that, that you're offering. Uh, you know, s security and networking, obviously a, a big space. Um, so first of all, not, not a Stanford team that you brought in, <laughs> uh, but, but uh, University of University Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. I, explain a little bit for us uh, justification, how, how Netzel fits in with the, the Nutanix portfolio. Yeah, the Netzel technology um, is unique in many different ways, and we actually see a lot of different applications for it. Uh, the, the core product that they have today, the way they do performance monitoring by staying just on the network, not installing any host agents, it's pretty unusual. It's, it's something that we really liked about the technology. The fact that they can do this at layer seven, can actually look at application data, do deep packet inspection at line speed, um, it's even more impressive. And they really built out the scale out architecture based on Harjot's uh, research work. Um, we looked at that and we said, hey look, this can be used for performance monitoring, it can be used for application discovery, it can be used for security operations. There's just so many different directions we can take this in. And it's a great team that's built it with a relatively small number of people. We want these guys to be working for, with us, not, not as a separate company. And uh, it moved pretty quickly. Uh, the, the acquisition happened quite quickly. Uh, we talked a little bit this morning about how we're going to use it for micro-segmentation, but there's many other use cases we see coming down the pike. So Harry, let's talk a little bit about the enterprise applicability. You know, when you guys looked at it, you mainly looked at containers and the challenges of, of a, a, a micro, I'm sorry, not, uh, of multi-services, and basically 12 factor applications. Yeah. How is that applicable to the typical enterprise, which 90% of their applications are monolith, same capability, what, what capabilities are you bringing to bear for traditional applications? Yeah, it's pretty applicable everywhere because network is a very stable source of truth. Like what remains constant in the legacy as well as in the newer world is your TCP IP stack. And it's a very stable source of truth uh, to tap into. So one of the value propositions that Netsil had with one of our very, like the early enterprise customers that we signed up was helping them migrate from these monolithic architectures to microservices. And their existing tools on the market, if you look at APM tools or even the logging tools were inadequate when taking on, to them to on, on this journey. And you can think of Netsil as a very pervasive solution. I mean, the analogy that I usually give people is like drones versus troops on the ground where Netsil can quickly set up, provide like a breadth of uh, coverage uh, in any environment, whether it's like legacy or microservices, you're covered. And, uh, and then once you find issues in your environment, be it security issues or performance issues, you can systematically drill in, either add more instrumentation, tracing, 
or add policies with micro segmentation. That was the whole idea. So there was a gap in the market for this kind of a tool. So let's talk about integration into Nutanix. One of the, uh, what I'm calling first principles or Nutanix is push button, one click, easy. Yeah. Yes. What does the NetSeal application look like in a Nutanix environment to the Nutanix administrator? So let's take the micro segmentation uh, example again, right? So today if you were to micro segment an existing application, it's pretty hard to know where to begin. Uh, Sunil described it as a hairy problem, but you know, we know he likes hair. Um, <laughs> but what NetSeal does is it takes all the data it's gathering from the network, it gives you all this visibility into how every part of your application is interacting with each other. And you can group it in different ways. So it's not just about VMs talking to VMs. If you have a microservices based application, that's actually a very little value. You really want right. which services are talking to which services, or even more which service tiers are talking to which service tiers. Mm -hmm. But gathering all that data, uh, we can actually fully automate the creation of, uh, of micro segmentation uh, policies for existing applications. Mm -hmm. So today what we saw was more of a manual thing, we had set it up uh, previously, it's just that we haven't had enough time to do integration yet. <laughs> we expect that to become completely automated. Yeah. Yeah, uh, similarly with the remediation stuff, the troubleshooting stuff, we haven't integrated them with the NetSil, uh, NetSil technology with the machine learning things that we have been working on. Once we do that, we can expect a lot more automated insights into your applications, integrated with our alert system, integrated with our uh, metrics and stat systems. So a lot of work to do, but uh, a lot of potential for this technology, I think. Yeah. So yeah, so it actually does solve this chicken and an egg problem, as Rajiv said, uh, with actually making micro-segmentation operational by first discovering these brownfield apps and then suggesting policies, right? <laughs> and, um, and all the goodness of NetSeal will be brought onto like, products like Prism, uh, where out of the box NetSeal can provide uh, visibility and metrics for workloads such as VDI and all the, all the packaged applications and all the MongoDBs and all the, all, the, all the stuff that is hosted on top of Nutanix platform and selling it to the same IT ops yeah. audience, yeah. Har Harjot, the space you're playing in yeah. is really changing so, so fast. Yes, Talk about micro-segmentation and containers and serverless and the like. Yeah. What at its core will allow your product to be able to stay up with the pace of change? So the core of the product, as I mentioned, I mean, it's network based. So one of the things like you get with that is like, it's a very stable source of truth. So your languages keep evolving. So in, if you look at the, the I mean, this mind boggling um, um, introduction of like open source technologies into enterprise environments, which you don't control what languages they are written in. And your developers are like picking up the latest and greatest tools. So in that world, um, uh, the core of the technology, which is like network based, still works the same. And that allows us to be like really future proof, this thing, yeah. Languages and, and frameworks change, the network protocols are they don't. much more stable. Yeah, um, to, to some people's chagrin, the yeah. protocols don't change. So let's talk a little bit about products and overlap of products. One of the, I think, confusing points, or can be confusing, is where NetSeal Net fits in when it comes to Calm and overall to Xi. Where, where's the interaction and overlap or what's the relative? Yeah, so you can think of every um, workload in the cloud as a OODA loop, observe, orient, decide, and act. Now what Calm uh, helps uh, uh, the customer is to like act faster, right? Whereas Nexel comes in and provides the observe and the orient piece. So it's all part of the same workload, workflow. Uh, if you're an IT ops person, you need tools to observe and help orient so you can decide faster. And tools like Calm and Kubernetes in the future, with one click, and with just a few clicks, you can make massive changes to your cloud um, infrastructure. But without observability, you are just flying blind. That's where NetSeal comes in. So that's why Rajiv said, as Rajiv said, like it's going to enhance a lot of areas within Nutanix, and possibly like even continue uh, selling as a multi-cloud monitoring solution. Yeah, just as uh, we do, we'll do brownfield import for micro-segmentation, you can imagine that it would be a great, great uh, product for uh, for the for uh, Calm as well. Uh, being able to do brownfield import of uh, Calm application of applications and making them into Calm blueprints. Yeah. yeah. So, Rajiv, you've had some pent up demand from customers for the micro segmentation piece, but give us a little bit. You said there's other applications. What should we be expecting to see uh, from, from NetSeal right. product line? So, as CTO, I can talk future. So, yeah. let me tell you about some stuff <laughs> on the timelines. Um, 
one one great uh, area for us to explore is around security operations, right? So since, since Nets is already in the network, looking at all traffic, it can easily establish a baseline of which VMs, which containers normally talk to each other, what kind of requests they make, and it's doing this at layer seven, so it can even go and look into what kind of API endpoints are normally called. And once it's baselined this, detecting variations, detecting violations is going to be relatively simple. So we can alert on security violations, unusual behavior, services making calls to services that shouldn't be making calls to, all that kind of stuff. So that's one area for us to explore. Um, we talked about Calm, so Calm can benefit greatly by being able to import brownfield applications into the Calm umbrella, making blueprints out of them. Uh, there's integrations with Prism Pro, which mm -hmm. will enable uh, the kind of metrics that uh, Netsil is collecting and integrating it with what, what Prism Pro already does, putting it into one single framework, adding it to capacity planning, adding it to all the Prism Pro features that we have. So there's a lot of stuff we can do. So that's an awful lot of data. Where is this stored and yeah. Yeah, what's I mean, the engine behind it? That's a, that's a great question actually. Netsil not only innovated in this uh, unique way of collecting, we also innovated a lot in time series databases. So the back end of Netsail is powered by a database called Apache Druid, uh, which is an OLAP uh, time series database. So it can ingest at scale, and you can run um, uh, complex queries in sub-second latency at scale. So it can like summarize billions of data points at sub-second latencies. And the third thing that Netsail innovated is in the visualizations. So you are talking about like visualizing this complex data that is coming from these modern, fast-moving environments. That's another area where Netsail innovated with this maps interface to summarize and build easy to understand visualizations uh, on your complex infrastructure. Now I'm scared that my head would explode, but I would yeah. love to get you guys on with Satyam and talk through <laughs> what, what additional data and uh, when, when it comes to IoT, machine learning, <laughs> what additional insights. Yeah. Quick question, are you guys working with Satyam at all at this point? Uh, we've started like, um, uh, understand the lay of the land, so we're like still getting introduced to a lot of teams. As you guys notice, Nutanix is now growing very rapidly. There's so many areas to like learn about. And we are primarily working with the micro-segmentation team right now, but going forward, you will see NetSales goodness being brought into other areas at Nutanix. Yeah, R Rajiv, one question I have yeah. from a software standpoint in general, where does AI fit into you know, what, what you're doing with Zion, Calm, and yeah. like? So, uh, for all of them, uh, you know, we're using machine learning fairly extensively today to even do basic things like capacity planning, the what if modeling that we've been doing. But to go beyond machine learning, if we actually invest in uh, building an AI platform, I feel we can do a lot more in terms of root cause analysis, remediation, troubleshooting of applications, finding performance bottlenecks automatically, essentially really making that invisible infrastructure dream come true. You're close, you're not quite there yet. Yeah, and it's really about like getting quality data in without friction. So you have like, AI is now being commoditized in the industry, like all the algorithms are now like mainstream. So the biggest challenge has always been how do you go and capture the data at low friction? That's what Netsil brings on board. Yeah, I'm super excited for the micro segmentation. Let's talk about what have customers, what, what has been the customer reaction to Netsil and just the new capability? We see a lot of excitement. It's, uh, <laughs> micro segmentation's barely been out, what, a couple of months at this point, and uh, we already have uh, fairly large customers deploying it out there, and uh, a lot of demand for uh, proof of concepts and so on at this point. Yeah. Um, it was very clear to us from the beginning that uh, when people were looking at other SDN solutions, the number one use case they were using it in the enterprise was for micro segmentation. So we took that, we, uh, we uh, made it as simple as we could, you know, in true Nutanix fashion. We thought, okay, let's make micro-segmentation as one click as we can. Mm -hmm. And it's been gratifying, I think, to see the initial reaction. In fact, some of the initial feedback we have gotten has been along the lines of, this is almost too simple. <laughs> so one of the challenges that we've had in the enterprise is hybrid cloud. We, when you look at a EC2 instance and you have an internal database mm -hmm. and the two communicate, that EC2 instance is ephemeral. We don't know how to handle that. Does NetSeal address that, that challenge yep. at all? It does. In fact, it's been designed for even a faster moving world of containers. Mm. So I'll give you an example of Kubernetes, I mean, similar example. So NetSeal installs as a daemon set on Kubernetes. So it's pure infrastructure insertion. You are like independently inserting without developers. And as soon as it is installed, it's not just looking at packets. It's also like tapping into Docker socket for metadata. So as soon as containers go up and down, new VMs brought up, it actually 
pulls the metadata, the container IDs, the service IDs, Kubernetes pod names, and whatnot, and then marries that to the metrics that we are collecting. So that in the UI, as you saw in the demo today, you're not slicing and dicing by IP addresses. You're slicing and dicing by ID, uh, the service tags. So your VMs can come and go, containers can come and go, but we are looking at the behavior of this uh, group of cattle. Uh, you know the cattle versus pets analogy. Right. The whole idea in the new world is to like treat these services as the new pets, and your cattles are ephemeral. And the whole idea is that NetSill can discover microservices, discover the boundary of microservices by looking at layer seven behavior, and by smartly grouping ba things based on the behavior. So we know exactly what a MySQL database and different use, uh, different installations of MySQL look like to be based on the behavior and the query behavior and group them together. So enforcement, is that at the pod level or is that at the container level? So on the enforcement side, Nexel is mostly on the visibility. Right. So on the micro-segmentation side, um, there yeah, is so a... Today micro-segmentation is for VMs. As yeah. we build out uh, our next version of container services, we are looking into building a micro-segmentation for Kubernetes as well, and that will be at the pod level. All right, yep. Keith, I'm looking forward to this CTO Advisor podcast, digging a little bit more ah, on micro-segmentation. Yeah, 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 yeah. um, maybe uh, uh, Rajiv and, uh, we'll have them on for sure. and, and Harjana yeah. can stop by sometime. But thank you gentlemen so Thanks much for, for coming. Congratulations on, on the update, looking forward to hearing more. Uh, Keith and I have a little bit more here left of day one of Nutanix.next 2018. Mm -hmm. I'm Stu Miniman, Keith Townsend, thank you for watching theCUBE. <laughs>